uh, fortunate for my for me, um, I had the opportunity to learn Giz, which is a very ancient language uh, in Ethiopia, and a lot of uh, you know scripts, manuscripts were written and uh, things like that. So whenever I, whenever I got the opportunity to these you know very old uh, manuscripts, uh, the, the most you know things that were always uh, fantasizing me were. You know the way they understood the astronomy back then, and the the recent uh, way we define uh, or the, we would re redefine or the terminologies that we use and things like that. Uh, for example, a modern person, you know, a person in the modern science, for example, can simply ask, "How do we not get to have eclipses every month?" For example, because you know the moon was supposed to rotate uh, just in front of us every time, right? But uh, the way it defines it on the manuscript is pretty much the same, but in a, you know, somehow an old slang, I would say. And uh, I would always be shook to see, okay, these people knew this, but, you know, they didn't state it in a way that, you know, for example, NASA is saying it on the website. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's like, uh, uh, the house is like 10 miles uh, from here, and I'm saying it's like 10 kilometers. It's different measurements uh, you might not you know understand each other like if you don't get to ha know how to convert those but uh, there is somehow similar history and uh, things like that and even even not just in back in the ancient times I actually had the opportunity to see uh, the first observatory of Ethiopia uh, which was back in the last emperor that we had um, it was pretty decent and uh, it, it feels really nice that uh, a lot of people, uh, foreigners, scholars, and even Ethiopians, were collaboratively doing, uh, you know, marvelous uh, observational research and publishing, you know, to world-leading uh, journals like Nature, you know, and uh, yeah, things like that it fascinated me a lot. And the question I had next was, how can I add up onto this? Right. So shed, uh, shedding some light on what we already have is pretty much a really good thing because the, most of the things that I usually, for example, I personally face, even within my family, would be like, like, okay, you're talking about the stars, spacecraft, things and like that. Like, what are they actually benefiting us right now? And a lot of people <laughs> do neglect uh, the benefits that we are having uh, from out of space technology. Call it is it either a space-driven technology or a direct space technology that we're applying, including this topics that we are having right now. So, yeah, things like that. So, I mean, were you the only one in your family who was really...